I decided to continue with this project of uh, making a, a, a light out of uh, fourth axis and um, I made several changes since the first initial test. One major change I think is that I installed a 180 watt AC servo motor um, which will give me much higher RPM than the original stepper motor would have given. Um, the other big change is of course that I will uh, install ball screw for the uh, x-axis <coughs> and of course uh, also rail uh, linear guides uh, which are pretty large actually uh, these are uh, 20 millimeter so it will uh, it will work quite nice I think and of course it's on both sides of the aluminium profiles which I intend to use for <coughs> the continued tests one uh, thing about uh, the, the aluminium profiles is that I also changed those from the initial weaker ones to a more uh, heavy duty type to show the differences between the, uh, the, the light version you can see it on the right side uh, and on the left the left two are of course the heavy duty type and it makes a huge difference in weight also of course this is uh, the sound of the servo motor at 360 rpm which was the old maximum chuck rpm I could get with the stepper uh, I am a little bit disappointed by the sound I think it's uh, quite noisy but uh, anyway people say it's quiet so <laughs> whatever uh, it, it works anyway so I don't care now I will see I will show you at maximum RPM which is uh, 1000 in this case and that's because I changed the gearing here <coughs> this one is still 60 uh, two teeth uh, but this one is not uh, 10 anymore but it's 20 so the gearing ratio is uh, 3 to 1 and since the servo uh, can run at uh, 3000 rpm that's 3 to 1 so it will be 1000 on the chuck but beware, now it's going to be noisy. As you can see, it's uh, 1000 RPM quite precisely. It's a bit uh, flexing down to 0 0.2 below 1000 but uh, that's uh, probably a reading error and it's very noisy
the control box is still the same of course but I had to change the software in it uh, to be able to set the speed of 1000 rpm uh, so it's uh, it is now adjustable between 0 and 1000 and if I turn it even more to the right then nothing more will happen because I limited to 1000 rpm and of course I can still switch it uh, switch direction to the le left or right whichever I want to use and or of course the acceleration uh, by the way I also changed the acceleration because one advantage of uh, servo motor is of course it has better acceleration ratio or possibility than uh, stepper motors so now it's, uh, I can uh, switch easily just as easily as before by pressing the other button and and it spins the other way now. And if I stop, I stop. And this switch is, is the one which is uh, used for left mode or CNC mode. In this, this mode it's, uh, it would be the CNC which is controlling the, the servo. But right now uh, I don't have the CNC on, so just to let. One thing I noticed is that uh, when uh, the servo is in the CNC mode, then as you, as you can see, it's it's quite easy to start. Um, a little bit of uh, shaking, quite a bit of shaking. So I don't know, it, it, it doesn't take a lot of effort to do it. Uh, so maybe in the end the servo is not going to be suitable at all for uh, the CNC type of uh, fourth axis work. Because yes, when, when I apply force slowly then it can it it has a, a quite reasonable holding torque but um, a sudden move can just uh, set it into a, an oscillating movement i try to improve things through the the servo parameters but i couldn't find any real good way of doing it so maybe the motor is just too weak 180 watt is not enough I might need to change it to a 400 watt later on but for now I will continue as it is and first finish every other type of work which is which has to be done like like the crossfeed uh, and also, of course, the, the tail section has to be fixed also. So right now it's just in the air. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.